It will be the fifth time in the last seven meetings that Southern Illinois will have to go to the Dakota Dome to take on the South Dakota Coyotes this weekend as it's the Missouri Valley Football Conference opener. It's your Saluki Radio Preview alongside the coach Pat Poor, Mike Trude. I am Luke Martin. Coach Poor, it's the start of Valley play. It's always the beginning of a new season. And when you look at these two teams, South Dakota, top five in the country, yet again, this is another game that has been a really good one in the series since South Dakota has joined the league. Truly, second season, one of your goals is you want to win your conference. And going on the road, first game, um, good matchup. And again, like you said, Luke, every week's going to be this team's ranked, whatever, whatever, whatever. And uh, so got to definitely go into it, guns a-blazing. Well, you think about it, Mike, this team, another really good quarterback. Aiden Bauman, he's had an outstanding career there at South Dakota. He's got tons of weapons, specifically with him in the backfield with Pierre Jr. and Tice, who's been there, it seems like, for 20 years. Yeah, Tice is a sixth-year senior, averaging almost seven yards a carry. Pierre averaging over seven yards per carry. So they are a run-heavy ball club. Uh, Bauman has only thrown about an average of 20 times a game. And it was just a couple of years ago when Bauman came off the bench for South Dakota in a game that the Salukis were handily winning at the time, led them to victory. And it seems like ever since that time, South Dakota has been relevant in the top 10. The other side of a two coach board, they've really improved up front on their offensive line. Two years ago, they were one of the worst in the country in terms of giving up sacks. Last year, it was a drastic difference and it shows when they give Bauman and those weapons times they are very effective offensively. You see a change in their body type of those offensive linemen. Um, they used to seem like they were big girth, you know, zone type blockers, um, kind of I used to call them globbers, which kind of latch on to you. They look a lot more athletic. And, and longer up front, and and they have they've they've played well, really playing on a kind of like seems like they get, had a change in mentality of toughness. We're gonna you know, we're gonna grind. We're gonna run the ball, and and they've been for the people they've played. They've they've done a good job of that. And defensively, they've shown it. They obviously played Wisconsin earlier this year. Wisconsin did get out to an initial 14 nothing lead, but from that point on, Mike, South Dakota really gritted out defensively in that game. Their offense was able to move the football, but specifically defensively, Shahid Barros is back. He's a huge addition to them. He got back last week there in the secondary. He's going to be a key part of that Coyote defense. He is, and that defensive line are all seniors. A couple of them are over 300 pounds, but they're agile as well, which makes it difficult to run the ball against them. They hang their hat on being able to try to make you throw the football, stop the run. Their linebackers get the majority of their tackles. They're good in the secondary. It's a very solid unit that you have to get some breaks with and be executionally, if that's even a word, really good in a game to, to score against them. That's your true word of the day. We'll get that sponsored <laughs> here at some point. <laughs> Coach Poor, one of the characteristics it seems like with the South Dakota defense, when they've excelled at a really high level, they bring pressure, and they're able to get pressure, not just up front, but with their linebackers. What stands out about their front seven within their defense? Well, a lot of, lot of four down front, and they've created – pressure with that kind of a change with them to me they, they and maybe they, because they haven't had to it doesn't seem like they're running as much pressure as they have previously because thinking about these games they've always either been a grinder game or they've been hey we're we're exploiting each other and you know they've been shootouts and I think I think the biggest thing is making them uncomfortable you know just to this point in the season I don't know that anybody's made them uncomfortable in terms of having taken something away from them. You know, we have to stop that run game and force them to throw the ball. And I think that's a that's a big piece of this game is can we get them out of their their rhythm that they're in right now? And not to mention Keandre Jones Logan, a fantastic talent at kickoff return. He has two kickoff returns this year, both of them have gone for touchdowns, including a 99-yarder last week against the Drake Bulldogs for the Coyotes. So special teams, no question, a strength for Coach Nielsen and his group. Kickoff is 1 o'clock tomorrow in the Dakota Dome. We hope you join us for our Saluki Radio pregame coverage starting at noon. For my partners, the Coach Pat Poor and Mike Trude, 
I am Luke Martin saying so long until we talk to you tomorrow from the Dakota Dome. Go dogs.